So we are here with another little slice of life here at Fully Charged USA, and I have snuck into a BMW. I mean, not what you would expect. You see me, I'm driving an i3 and I've got a Kia Niro, but this is really the kind of thing I like to be in. Mine Morris Minor, not so electric right now, not so moving right now. So I can't drive that for a classic, but I've managed to sneak a ride here with Mark from Moment. Tell us a little bit about it. Absolutely, it's a 1970 BMW 1600. And what we've done to it is what we do as a company is we convert these classics to electric vehicles. So they, uh, we take out the combustion engine and we've replaced it with uh, a electric motor with about 185 foot-pounds of torque and about 165 horsepower. So uh, the interesting thing that you're going to find out is that we mate that up to the original transmission. So you get to drive this just like... BMW intended you to drive this car, but it's a little bit more powerful, a little bit more fun, and it's kind of an enjoyable experience. Yeah, so I understand this was the this was not an exciting turbo, this no. wasn't like a high no. trim level, this right. is just your basic. Exactly. And now it's a bit quicker. It is a little bit quicker, yes. So that's the great thing about what we do is that we're able to take a car that wasn't maybe the highest option car because most of those options and the and the um, rarity of them have to do with the engine and the drivetrain and so we're able to take a car like a 1600 which is a small little 1.6 liter and maybe made a 80 horsepower or, or something like that and we're able to take that car and make it into something truly enjoyable and uh, and and also we're making it much more forward thinking, something that uh, that you can drive with uh, with pride and pleasure and, and feel responsible about what you're doing instead of burning a bunch of fossil fuels on a, in a 50 year old drive thing. What would you say is like the most important thing for people to take away from the idea of converting an electric vehicle? What are the challenges that, that come up? It's, uh, it isn't a trivial operation, but at the same time, what we're doing is is fundamentally simple. We are replacing the internal combustion engine with an electric motor. So the big challenges are things that we've focused on as our company to try to make this as repeatable and and uh, and uh, uh, applicable to as many cars as possible. We've made some very modular uh, motor mounting systems and adapter plates that allow for this to fit, uh, you know, into just about any uh, any classic car that's out there. And then we're able to um, mount that motor in uh, the original uh, engine bay and like I said hook it up to the original transmission and then it's really just a challenge of where can you fit the batteries right so the batteries are incredibly um, <laughs> Uh, they're, they're bulky, they're uh, square, they are, uh, uh, they are uh, heavy and we need to put them in the car where we have the most space and we have enough, um, uh, we have them in the, in the spots in the car where we maintain the original uh, weight balance of the car. So we're trying to preserve that classic driving experience of this vehicle and so you don't want to put all your batteries in the trunk and have a lightweight little motor up front it's going to be a very dangerous gonna, and strange that's handling that's going to make for an exciting exactly, handling exactly so we have another modular uh, battery system that allows us to put as many as we can in the right you know in the right spots to maintain the weight balance um, and it allows us to be uh, to be able to do that in cars with different shapes and different sizes where you know uh, where the uh, the space allows and the, and the layout allows so uh, it's fundamentally a simple you know a, approach to uh, to doing this but it is challenging from an engineering uh, perspective so so if you have someone come in with their car that they've had for 10 20 years what kind of advice would you give them so i think that's uh you know this process is not a cheap process so it's, it's there's a lot of expensive components in it. so um really we want the end result to be as enjoyable and as exciting as possible for the for the customer this should be a car that they're extremely passionate about extremely excited about it should be one that just really makes them have an ear-to-ear -ear grin every time they walk out and see it in the parking lot so we really you know kind of first and foremost want to make sure this is their car this is their their um, well as we say moment and the reason that i named the company moment is because i think if you're a car person there's a moment that you become a car person it might be the instant you saw that car that you fell in love with it might be a family uh, member always had a car that you remember fondly what have it, whatever that is i want these cars to be your moment for our customers and so as long as they've picked that that vehicle um, we want to start with the best possible example as we can so uh, in the end you put 
uh, an investment in this vehicle. You want to be proud of it. You want it to be something that you uh, are, are proud to share with with individuals. And so I think that it's important to have a you know a, the, the quality and the and the, um, the appearance of the car. To, to feel so, good to so you want to be starting yeah. with a solid base. You, you don't want to, want to be base. starting with a right. car that's like a rust bucket exactly. that, that someone's driven into the ground, exactly. and then they're like, "Oh well, maybe I should, right. maybe I should fix it." Right. It's not going to be. Not th that's your, not your moment. Your moment is get the car to a good, solid structural condition, exactly. and then start. And then doing that exactly. Now yeah. we can actually shepherd the car through that process. You know, the the, the mini that you saw was something that that owner had always wanted. She always strove, you know, to find a, a classic Mini that she could have restored and she loved the idea of it, but she knew it was mechanically beyond her her uh, capabilities. And so when we were able to bring her an electrified version, it just, it, it hit all the right buttons for her. And so we shopped around and find the perfect little Surf Blue Mini for her and did, the, you know, part of the restoration for her as well yeah. as the conversion. And in the end, she's got a car that she absolutely adores and loves to yeah. drive. So that's the goal. And moving forwards, I think mm -hmm. there is, um there's a real shift in the world to particularly p for people who live in cities right. to clean air zones yes, exactly. where you just you cannot drive right if you take this car into london right. then you are going to be paying a fortune right right um and to be able to do that and have the enjoyment of still having your classic car yes. this beautiful piece of design yes. yes um and get to enjoy that every day it's like it's like having an artwork you can sit in and enjoy yes. every day that is exactly right and i i firmly believe that that these, these are art forms right there's a yeah. reason that we see them and instantly react to them and, and love them in the way that they do they're iconic cars that have been in, around for decades that have held their shape and have held that appeal for so long and to be able to keep these rolling works of art on the road is i think a, a privilege it's really exciting to be able to do that and i think it brings joy to not just the driver it brings joy to you know you've driven a classic car and you pull up and people go oh, look yeah. at that what year is that oh yeah. i love it it's beautiful I right one of those. exactly oh, and they tell this story those, or, yeah and that is the experience that i think is the most uh you know kind of quintessential classic car you know experience and to be able to have that and to be able to give that to people. I get I get texts all the time from my owners who are texting me, you know, pictures of the note that somebody left on their on their windshield that they're like, oh, I love your car, what have you, right? And so that kind of, uh, that kind of uh, engagement and experience is what we're trying to give our customers without, <laughs> without all the negative well, with, that you talked about. Without the pain. Yes, that, yes. The joy without the exactly. pain. Exactly, that's the goal. Right? Okay. Right on. Well, thank you so much, I know. You need to drive it. You need I to go for it faster. And once you get straight, put your foot in it a little bit. More. Oh, see, that's what's fun. Now shift. Oh. <laughs> I haven't actually driven a stick for a Isn't while. that fun? Oh, that is. Isn't awesome. that fun? <laughs> I'm gonna get like so toned up. <laughs> no, I think they might want you to slow down. Where can I sneak through? <laughs> I can sneak through there, and I can do upsetting things again. <laughs> yeah. We might, I, we might get uh, reprimanded, so just be careful. I'll, I'll try not to get you, because you're actually from so around So now you're here. in third gear now, so if you, yeah, if you want it to be in second, second or first or whatever you want to do. So it's not as, you know, you still get that torque. And here's yeah. the nice thing. So here, watch this. Come to a stop. Just break. You don't have to put in the clutch because it's, it's not it's, uh, right, Yeah, right, now that's my right. brain's engaged and right. I don't know, yeah, so I'm driving a stick. Now you're, in that. now you're still in second gear. Yeah. You can just drive this around like this. Take You're from a dead stop. You could be in second gear and you can be in traffic and you could go up to 40 or 50 miles an hour just fine like which, this. And so you could drive this like an automatic. Which is super that. nice yeah. if you have yeah. traffic like any city. Like right. I've, dri I've driven in Austin. Right. It is the hell. <laughs> oh my oh, God. Oh, I'm glad you got to experience all that is wonderful about Austin. Uh, yeah, uh, well, mainly I experience sitting still. It's yes, very exciting. Exactly. Well, and the, the nice thing is, Yes, you can do this without giving your thigh an absolute workout, you know, because you're not yeah. having to shift it. You're not having to deal with all of that. But you can. You can, you know, put it in first and just and, and, then and slam can... it. Are you in first? Yeah, there you go. I now, don't that's... let off the clutch completely. Just oh, yeah. Sorry. go to the floor. Boom, right? And then you get all of that awesome electric car, yeah. you know, uh, uh, torque that uh, is... rush that you get. And uh, so it's, uh, to me, it's Lush. the best of both worlds, right? Side, or maybe just right into I'll just side. pull up over here obnoxiously for a minute. <laughs> so thank you. Sure. Thank you very much. Well, I hope that was enjoyable. Oh my God, was that enjoyable? <laughs> you can probably see from the footage that that was enjoyable and yeah. I love classic cars right. and it's awesome. <laughs>
thank you so much. Absolutely. And, and this is not an advert for you. Well, it's okay. Although it's pretty it. close at this point. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, we will be back with more updates from Fully Charged. Uh, or possibly not, because this is kind of the end of the day. Yes. So it depends on what order these videos go out. Right. But it's really been great to be here. We've really enjoyed seeing what has been available at Fully Charged USA. And we will be back with more content very soon.